Hey there, it's Lauren from Rustic Honey and today we are doing a bit of a spring refresh throughout my living room and a little bit in the kitchen. We're working with some thrifted and antique finds from around my home and I'll be talking about easy ways to refresh any space in your home. All right, come along with me as we freshen this place up. With the changing weather here, I feel like every day my voice has been a little bit scratchy and something about lemon water first thing in the morning just sounds so good and refreshing. So I have been grabbing some lemon water first thing in the morning as we're getting ready for the day or heading out to school and it is just the ticket. So if you need something to freshen up for spring, your little routine, I would highly recommend some lemon water. Always a great thing. I am going to start with a load of laundry this morning. You guys know if you've been hanging around me for any amount of time, we've got to start one load of laundry and get our dishes done first thing in the morning and start those routines. And there is nothing better than diving into a bed of fresh sheets at night. So I love doing that. Put all the whites together and get them rolling before we get back to the living room. So today I really want to work on refreshing our living space. Our little family spends a lot of time in this room as you can see and there's usually, this is usually what it looks like. There's toys, blankets, clothes, lots of socks um, and everyone always wonders why they have no socks in the morning for school. Well, they, they go to die here, I'm sure under my couch, but we'll find out. I am not going to do the deep dive that I really wanted to. Our couch actually comes apart. Um, all of the sleeves come off of the cushions and I really want to soak them and clean them again before this baby comes later this spring. But I have also been very tired lately, so we're just going to honor that, fluff the cushions, and just do some of the things around here to clean up before we decorate. So I want to add some spring touches around here, but I feel like first things first, we have a few things that need to get cleaned up. Um, I always flip these couch cushions around. This is my easy cheat way of making it look a little bit more tidy in here. Give them a fluff and turn them around because the kids like to climb on top of them and they usually get you know, disformed in some way. I would also like to take our curtains down and wash those pretty soon, but for now we are just going to open them up and let the sunshine roll right in. On these sunny days, the best way to refresh any space is just to open up those windows, open up the curtains, and let all of the sunlight in. It is so refreshing. Another thing I really want to do soon is replace our end tables. I've been hitting up you know, the thrift store, the antique mall, Facebook marketplace, really trying to find some new end tables. My husband has had these since before we met, and they've been painted black. They're used and abused. I would love them to just be stripped down. If you know anything about that, let me know in the comments below because I'm afraid it's going to be way too much of a project for me right now. But um, anyway, and you can see me babying our internet here too. <laughs> if I move this at all, the internet will just shut off for the whole morning. Um, we are on the last leg of our little internet box here and we're getting ready to get fiber internet which is a big deal when you live in the country it's 2024 and we still don't have high-speed internet here other than our little hot spot so we are excited about that Reese is gonna help me get busy here on our spindles they are absolutely disgusting I'm not gonna show you any close-ups but I don't get to this project very often and you can imagine with three little kids how many dirty fingerprints get on these spindles especially because my kids like to go up and down the stairs and they've got little dirt on their hands and little food on their fingers and that's just how life is right now it's a wonderful thing but while we're cleaning i also wanted to tell you about today's video collaboration with Sarah's October Home. Um, Sarah has a beautiful channel. I am so inspired by her, her home decor and I love her calm, beautiful cottage aesthetic. So be sure to jump over to her channel. She's gonna be doing a spring thrift haul and a little bit of redecorating today too. And as you can see from her video here, she has amazing taste. I would love for her to come to my farmhouse and add a little color and greenery I just love the things she does and you're going to love all the inspiration on her channel. So be sure to jump over there today and support Sarah as well. Um, and we're going to finish up these spindles. It's, it's projects like these that feel so good when they're done. You never want to actually do them, but it's just 
and maybe it's maybe this is why it's called spring cleaning like this is usually when you get after these things and just get them done and um i think when we're refreshing a space we often jump straight into i want to buy something new and i want to redecorate um and you want to do the big things like painting and and buying new furniture but sometimes if you just start with the little things to refresh your space, put a little elbow grease into it. I think you'll be surprised at how new and revived your space can feel. So although it's not the glamorous part and often not what we want to do, taking the time and making a list, I found that that's a great thing to do is to make a list of the things that are kind of driving you crazy and the spindles I had noticed multiple times. And so I was like, I'm gonna write that down on the list and we are gonna knock that out. So make a list and put a little elbow grease into it. And I think you will feel so much better about your space. We are also gonna focus a little bit on all of the senses. So I lit a candle here because scent is very important to us as well. Um, your line of sight, obviously decluttering and getting rid of all the excess, especially in the spring, that's always a fun thing to do is to declutter. And then of course, I'm working on the windows here too. We gotta have a clear line of sight out to all the beautiful green that is starting to pop up this spring. Um, and I had a little giggle because on these lower windows, you can see where my daughter has like smushed her face up to the window to watch her daddy feed hay outside. And there's like little kiss marks. It's so cute. I was like, oh, I told my husband, I was like, she is like kissing you through the window. because She loves you so much. Opening up the window and letting some fresh air feels so good. A great way to refresh a space. You also saw that how dirty it was between our screen and the window from the winter that's just a project for another day, but I thought a little bit goes a long ways. Let's just wipe that out a little bit. And of course I have little helpers that help with the vacuuming. They love this little stick vacuum and it is the handiest thing ever. If you don't have one yet, you need to get one of those. <laughs> All right, let's pull out some greenery. I wanna add some spring touches around the living room today and really add to this fresh space now that we've been cleaning it a little bit. Um, I was gonna show you just some baskets and things. I have, this one's not necessarily thrifted, but I had to flip it over because I think, yeah, there was still a tag from Marshalls for less than $4, thought that was crazy. Ignore the dust. <laughs> I bought um, six of those little galvanized tins, I think last year around 4th of July. That was in a thrift with me video here actually on YouTube, I think. And um, they have come in so handy. I use them for vases or whatever throughout the year. And I like to buy things like that when I'm thrifting that can be used in multiple different ways, either for holidays or in different rooms. And another tip I would have for you if you're just wanting to refresh a space is to think about how you can use your items in different rooms. Sometimes I'll just grab something from another room like this was from my in my mudroom. I had actually thrifted it way back when we got married and used it and it said cheers on the back, you can still see it, but it's an old school slate. And then I have little candlesticks also, I think I thrifted originally from our wedding, that little handled one though I recently got. And then I had this picture hanging in our closet forever. It is of my grandparents and it's like an engagement picture of theirs and they're on a little picnic. So it inspired engagement pictures that I took with my husband. Um, so it sits in our closet next to one of our pictures, but I just love the picture and I really wanted to pull it out and put it in a new space so that I can appreciate it again. Because I think oftentimes we have things in our home that we love, but we've kind of forget about them because your mind is so used to seeing in them in the same spaces and a little a little feng shui if you will moving it around um is just I love that it really freshens up a space and so that's what I'm doing here just kind of moving around what I already have um I like to thrift and go shopping it just doesn't always happen for me and sometimes even when I do I can't find exactly what I'm looking for and that's the thing that it takes a lot of patience when you want to thrift or buy secondhand or you're you know looking at Facebook marketplace or you're going to the antique mall sometimes it just takes a little extra time so here I was just working on my shelves trying to get those balanced out and I laughed because Reese took off with my flowers and decorated her desk and I was just wanting to add one last little touch to these shelves to balance out the greenery. As you can see as I was working there I kind of tried to offset the black in the frame with the chalkboard and balance that out a little bit on those shelves and the same thing with the greenery I'm putting a little bit of a up high and then on the opposite end balancing it out with that little um, puff ball of greenery that sits in the galvanized bin. And so I feel like that's a fairly balanced look. I'm not sure I want to keep it like this for 
for very long, but for right now it works. It's better than having bare shelves on the wall, which is kind of where we were at before. Okay, and to finish off this little end table, I am gonna put that cute little trunk-like vase over here and just throw in some extra greenery that I have as well. Greenery and florals are another thing that I seem to buy very slowly. I'll buy a few sprigs maybe every other season for something and just it freshens it up a little bit. I like to keep them all separately and then redo bouquets to kind of freshen up the look here and there. So on the fireplace, I ended up putting the lamb's ear and the lavender. Reese kind of got me started on that one and so I just left it. And I'm loving how this came together. It feels so much better in here and so much more spring-like. All right, as much as I just want to stay on the couch and sip some coffee and watch cartoons, I have a little momentum going and I'm feeling really good about it. So I'm going to get back up for a few minutes here and we're going to refresh another area in my home. This time we're going to work on the pantry in my kitchen. It won't take me long at all to make this space feel a lot more fresh. I just need to refill some containers. I have a really good system in place for my open pantry. And again, I have a video on this, so I will link it in the cards if you want to see how I redid our open pantry a while ago. Um, but I just really like to keep things filled in containers, but sometimes it doesn't happen. And I had these huge things of cereal. It's funny, I actually bought them because they needed them at school. Um, for a project and then I came home and I sat them in a special place to send them to school the next day well my kids found them and opened them so I had to go grocery shopping again I'm sure that's happened to some other mom here at some point point. and hi my name's Lauren I love to drop things because I'm getting super pregnant and bending over is super fun um, so the basket made me think of some thrifting we did here recently and I wanted to share it with you this is a basket, not the one actually in my video, but another one that was for $25 and I was very tempted to buy it. Um, maybe I'm going to start collecting baskets. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a basket case. Um, I also loved this piece and I'm still thinking about it. It's probably sold at this point. I really wanted it to fit at the very bottom of my open pantry for like potatoes and onions and all the things that you could have so much extra storage in here but it was a little bit too big for that. So I'm still daydreaming on how I could use it in other ways. And again, I'm a basket case apparently. All the baskets, maybe it's the spring, they were all catching my attention. And I thought, I didn't really love the acorns on the front of this one, but the basket itself was so cute. And I think the acorns could come off of it for Easter. So obviously Easter vibes were all over the place and that's maybe why I was eyeing all of the baskets. But I do keep our little picnic basket at the bottom of my open pantry and it is a great hidden storage for any bulk foods that I can't fit in my jars at the time. So that's why this system works really well because I can put the extra things that I come home with from the grocery store in the bottom until I can refill my containers. If you're going to put brown sugar in a container, be sure to smush it down. Otherwise it will dry out on you and you'll have like, you know, crunchy, crumbly brown sugar. We always keep a thing of popcorn going. My family loves the whirly pop. So we keep that easily accessible in our open pantry. And then if you saw my most recent video here, I think we did the cookies with all the different chocolate chips and I had some leftovers. So I love to store those in Mason jars. And for items like that, I don't really worry about the lids too much, but for things like rice, I definitely definitely keep them in a different, more airtight container. And then I store the excess rice down in the picnic basket. And so by no means is my open pantry just perfect in any way, but it is very functional and I feel like it is kept fairly tidy. It can be kind of pretty, but also made for real life, which is kind of where I'm at. Um, so choose some pretty containers and watch your head. Speaking of real life, <laughs> we have a lot of messy surfaces, a lot of um, Nerf gun bullets and balls flying through my house. And it's sometimes you just need to take a second and add the little mom touches here and there to clean things up. And it really makes a difference. Uh, my family will probably never notice, but it's okay because I noticed. Um, like I noticed all these dirty fingerprints around here. So I'm gonna work on this for a second because I am just in the scrubbing mode and you might as well keep going, right? So if you're anything like me, the painting may not happen right away this spring, but what we can do is scrub the nasty, dirty fingerprints off the wall and it will make a difference. So 
set your timer for five minutes and see what you can freshen up in your home. I promise you it will make it feel so much more refreshed. Now on to making myself a snack and that is how I get myself to do all of these things. I will reward myself with a snack afterwards. I hope today's video left you inspired to make your own list and have a space to refresh in your home for spring. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe to my channel so that we can hang out again soon. I love to share recipes from my country kitchen and my farmhouse decor, as well as a little bit of our farm life along the way. See you again soon.